Did you know that Muslims used to rule a small part of France for over 85 years? You see, in the year 719, this is what Spain looked like. It was almost entirely controlled by the Muslims and was given the name Al Andalus. And since Spain was no longer controlled by the Christians, this gave space for the Muslim sailors to roam free in the Mediterranean Sea. Trade routes opened between the different parts of the Muslim Caliphate and even islands like Malta, Sicily and Crete would eventually become under Muslim rule. And in this environment, there were a number of Muslim pirates who took to the sea. They were independent sailors who sailed usually in small groups and would often engage in battle with the Romans. And one group in particular of about 20 sailors was sailing somewhere between Spain and Italy when they were hit by a storm and they had to quickly seek land. And it just so happened that the closest land nearby was La Provence in modern France. And when they landed on shore, they found an enemy fort nearby. And so since they were already there, they went to that fort, seized it and took over it as their own. They called the new territory Farakshan which came from the Latin word Fraxinetum, which means ash forest. This was in the year 887. Anyway, the sailors sent out a message calling on any Muslims to join them in Fraxinetum, and around a hundred warriors answered the call and joined them. The fortress ended up being pretty useful actually. It was situated right at the edge of the Alps, which is this giant mountain range between France and Italy, and it blocked the entrance to many of the main passageways through the mountains. And because it was on the coast, it could also be used as a small navy base to block any transit by water. Basically anyone who wanted to do trade between Italy and France now had to pass this small group of Muslim warriors. Eventually they even managed to grow their forces and expand their territory deep into the French countryside. However at some point in their expansion they ended up capturing a man by the name of Maiolus of Cluny who ended up being a very politically influential person. A ransom was paid and he was released and he immediately went to the two biggest military leaders in the region. Count William I of Provence and Count Arthur Arduin of Turin. Together they attacked with their full force, outnumbering the Muslims and pushing them back. And in 1973, after 85 years, the state of Fraxinetum came to an end when the fortress that started it all was finally captured. And by the way, this is what the ruins of the fortress look like today. It's located on Mount de Mors, looking over the French La Garde Friennes. So if anyone gets the chance to go up there, send me some pictures. And fun fact, nearby this old fortress, there's a small village called Ramatuel. And according to this book published by Cambridge University, the name comes from the Arabic Rahmatullah, which means the mercy of Allah, which I thought was pretty cool. And as always, like a follow for more. Muslim facts.